It's morning here in Hong Kong, and the territory is bracing for a fresh wave of protests starting as early as tonight. But that doesn't seem to be swaying a government unmoved by this weekend's massive turnout. It was the biggest protest Hong Kong has seen in decades. A million people on the streets, say organizers, jamming the city core until late into the night and reinvigorating a pro-democracy movement sidelined by Beijing. There's no question of us ignoring views expressed uh, in society. But Hong Kong has to move on. But Hong Kong's Chinese-backed leader remains defiant, saying the bill will be law by July. Nobody wants Hong Kong to be a fugitive offender's haven. Carrie Lam points to the protests as a sign that rights and freedoms are not under threat in Hong Kong. On the streets, the anxiety grows. One in seven showed up this weekend, concerned over China's rising influence in the former British colony. With its own laws and system of government and a history of democratic rights, Beijing promised to respect. Instead, it's been steadily squeezing them. Please, could you just shelve it and give Hong Kong some breathing space for the time being? Let's all have a rethink. A rethink is something Ottawa has also been asking for, worried that the 300,000 Canadians living and working here, even people who visit, would be at risk if the legislation passes. We have indeed raised very serious concerns with the government of Hong Kong regarding these proposed changes. Here in Hong Kong, though, the government has shown no signs of backing down, and neither have the protesters, buoyed by the support they've received from abroad and by the numbers they've drawn here at home. The territory's legislature is due to start debating the controversial bill again within 24 hours against a backdrop of continuing demonstrations. Sasha Petrosek, CBC News, Hong Kong.